Nitro Concepts, a German-based gaming chair company, reached out to me with these new Transformers gaming chairs they were making. Out of the three they presented me with, I chose the Decepticon variant because I'm a filthy con sympathizer. This isn't some knockoff thing either, this is a real Hasbro-approved collaboration with one of Europe's biggest gaming chair companies. I've never done one of these before, so bear with me here as I talk you through this chair and why I think it's pretty spectacular. The assembly was pretty quick, uh, it only took about 40 minutes with me and a friend helping out. It was quite easy too, I I've never owned a gaming chair like this, but I've heard plenty of horror stories about constructing them, but, but nah, th this was painless and the instructions were very clear. The chair itself looks great. It's sturdy and well constructed with really cool detailing on the front and back. The purple highlighting and carbon fiber effect on each arm gives it a really sleek professional look. The Decepticon insignia, the text, and Megatron's beautiful mug are appliqued into the leather of the chair wonderfully. Look at his luscious lips. Nitro Concepts told me this was based off their X1000 chair, which is one of their best sellers. It's got lockable 3D armrests and a smooth tilt mechanism that adjusts the back seat up to 125 degrees for maximum comfort when you're playing Mystery of Convoy. Speaking of comfort, this chair feels really nice to sit in. I sat in it for a few hours making videos and gaming a little, and yeah, it, it feels nice. It's comfortable, it has a cold foam upholstery to keep your back cool and comfortable, and like any good chair, it has a really nice satisfying spin. Look, even Soundwave likes it. What do you think, Soundwave? Comfort achieved. Whee. Below is a link to the website where you can get one of these for yourselves, along with Nitro Concepts other non-Transformers chairs if you want something else. Like I said, I got the Decepticons edition, but they also have the Autobots edition and the Optimus Prime edition. The Autobots edition is very similar to the Decepticons edition, except it's uh, red, it's got the Autobot symbol on the back and Optimus Prime on the front, but the Optimus Prime edition is blue, red, it has an Autobot symbol on the front and Optimus Prime's face on the back. So. He's always watching your back, make sure, making sure there's no Megatrons around. Thank you once again to Nitro Concepts for reaching out and giving me this chair to review for all of you. This has been very exciting. Uh, I Get whichever one you want. Get a Nautica chair without the Transformer. Uh, get, um... Transformer!